Now, let's get into the news here because we got two top stories that are just, they're incredible WWE stories. I'm just going to read this word for word from WrestlingObserver.com. On the latest episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer gave an update on WWE's title unification plans for WrestleMania 38 and its aftermath. WWE Champion Brock Lesnar and Universal Champion Roman Reigns are set to face off in a winner-take-all championship unification match at Mania 38. But it doesn't appear that WWE will only have one men's world championship for long. Meltzer noted on Sunday's Wrestling Observer Radio that he has been told WWE does not believe it is, quote, feasible in the modern environment to have one world champion for both Raw and SmackDown. Quote, the deal here is that it is a unification match. From what I am told, it's the same idea as the last time they unified the titles. Remember like 20 years ago, 18 years ago when they did that? And then like a week later, they just handed a belt to Triple H? I was told that it is not feasible in the modern environment to not have each brand, given the two networks, have a champion. So this would be a unification match, and then they will not forget about it. But there will be two champions. So we're going to have a unification match at WrestleMania, but we will not have a unified champion for any length of time. Which brings us to a match between Vince McMahon and SmackDown announcer Pat McAfee looks to be on the cards for WrestleMania 38. Dave Meltzer reported this afternoon the match between McAfee and McMahon is listed in the internal schedule for WrestleMania. This follows a post-wrestling report from Friday where it was reported that a program between the two is expected to start and lead to WrestleMania. Uh, Dave then noted that... uh, Very unlikely Vince is actually going to have a wrestling match. There's going to be a lot of smoke and mirrors. So you're telling me that we got two matches now that we're advertising for WrestleMania where they're not going to give you what they're advertising? I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this before. But I have never in my life seen... A res- I, I should say a wrestling company because I'm sure that there are actual real companies out there that are like this. But I have never seen a wrestling company that made life so willingly difficult for themselves. Never. Not one time ever. Like, you know, Impact Wrestling, life was difficult for them, but they were like completely incompetent. Okay. And, uh, you know, WCW, life got difficult for them also due to incompetence but the funny thing about wwe is the guy at the very top you know uh, god bless the guy he's completely incompetent but there's like a lot of smart people working there but man i hear so much stuff from this company and it's like you're smart but you you come up with all of these ideas these circuitous ideas that, that that go in this big circle and just make life way more difficult than it needs to be this thing here about how i want to read the exact quote It is not, quote, feasible in the modern environment to not have each brand, given the two networks, have a champion. Bro, how many times have we heard, oh, man, you know, Fox doesn't know that Brock is now going to be on Raw. Oh, SmackDown wants to make sure that they've got Ronda Rousey. Dude, I listen, I'm not in the meetings. Are you actually telling me that, like, these people are insistent, like, these network executives are insistent that we have a very specific and very limited roster, and we prefer that over being able to have everybody? You honestly are telling me that if you went to Fox and you were like, listen, all right, we're going to give you Ronda and uh, Roman, but like Brock's largely going to be on the, oh, we, we got to give USA something. And then you go to USA and you're like, uh, you're going to get Brock, but like we got to give, you know, Fox. Ro-. You're telling me that they would prefer that to you going to them and saying, you know what, we're going to, we're going to unify these two rosters and Fox, bro, you're going to get Lesnar and, and Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks and Brock Lesnar and Roman. And guess what? USA, you're going to get Roman and Brock. You're telling me that each network is going to go, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I prefer not to have all of the biggest stars. I'd rather have half of the biggest stars 
exclusively. You're telling me that that's what they prefer? So anyway, we have this problem. You know, in the modern era, you just can't have one champion. In the modern era, you have to have what? whatever. Who cares? But anyway, we're advertising a match that we're going to deliver in the moment, but then it's going to be just like, whatever, the belts are going to go back to each brand afterwards. So, you know, pay your money for the one night to see which guy's going to win, and then uh, we'll go back to the way things used to be. And that Vince McMahon match, make sure you buy your ticket. We don't want to get stuck at 55000 and have Brian be right here. So make sure you buy your ticket to see Vince McMahon wrestle, but then he's not gonna. We're just going to do a bunch of gimmicks. But you'll still bow to him. And, uh, and thank him for everything that he's done for this business. I got nothing more to say. Aren't they past 55000 a night? I think they're barely past 55000 Well, look, at least they're being transparent about everything this year. They're not even hiding the fact that, you know, they're just, they said it. It's impossible in this environment to have only one champion. So, you know, that match is going to lead to Nothing. It's going to lead to a backlash match, maybe, or whatever, but at some point, belt goes off, and he'll say, whoever wins this match, I only want to be on this brand. Why am I working so much? I'm done with this. However they decide to go do things. They're bringing back Vince McMahon. <laughs> Vince McMahon. They're bringing back Stone Cold Steve Austin. They've already brought back Ronda Rousey. There's just no bones about what this year is. It is we're gonna put on the wackiest Johnny Knoxville for the Intercontinental title. We're putting on the wackiest show we possibly can. We are running a WrestleMania show during WrestleMania. That's what we're doing. All these other promotions that run these wacky shows, we're doing the same thing, except it's going to be WrestleMania. And what will it mean the next day? I guess we'll find out on Raw. I that just to me. That's what a lot of this is. It's a lot of stuff that in a on WrestleMania night one and night two is going to be something, I guess. But it's like, I mean, for the future, again, how many times are you going to continue to try to do this? How many times are you going to be able to pull something like this off? How many more names can you pull back from the past? Is Santino Morello? Well, bro, if we're bringing back seventy-six-year-olds, and we can go on for a long damn time pulling ba- people but back I'm from saying, the past. Are we bringing back? I mean, is Santel- Santino Morella a big enough name? You've exhausted everyone now. You've exhausted everyone except for Rock. Who who knows if he comes back? But if Austin comes back, who? <laughs> That's it. So, I mean, it's just the law of diminishing returns with bringing all these people back. I mean, Steve Austin's name was said. WWE's product is so cold right now. I guess maybe it hasn't hit the mainstream. Nobody is saying a word about it. Now they're hoping Vince and Pat McAfee, because it can be promoted on Fox, is going to be the thing. Uh, you know, at some point, you're going to need to create stars. It's said over and over again. Hey, I got enough If you stars. had a bunch of stars, you wouldn't have this problem. Get out of here. Back in a moment, Observer Live. The dramatic reading of the Hulk Hogan Brutus Beefcake promo. Please welcome the Mega Maniacs, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, Mean Gene? Now more than ever, with just one week away, I'm aware of how destiny is going to take its course, brother. Because just a few short weeks ago, bro, when I was laying in the weeds at Venice Beach, California, and I had Monday Night Raw tuned in, I saw Money Incorporated run across the ring with a metal attache case with the speed of a lightning bolt. And as it crashed into Brutus, the bionic barber beefcake, Blood Brothers face... I saw what I didn't want to see. I heard what I didn't want to hear. The emotions ran from head to toe. I chilled. I goosebumped. And I broke a sweat as I stood up, man. And I rushed from head to toe. I spent two days running up and down the aisles of Kmart, picking up that tonic, getting all that hair color together. And getting ready to do a number on Money Incorporated. I was sniffing for the hair tonic. I was sniffing for the butch wax. And lo and behold, as I kicked down the door of the Ramada Indoor at 48th and 8th Avenue, just a bit north of the Mid-City Gym, I found the brother, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, 
with his feet propped up on an ottoman, laid back in a lazy boy, watching Mo, Larry, and Curly with an ice pack on his nose. Thank God for the man upstairs that Brutus the Barber is okay. So I took to the desert outside Las Vegas, chopping down some big nasty-looking cactuses, trying to dull up the titanium steel blades, chopped down a couple of small mountains, and then it came to me, brother. I knew that I'd just throw the scissors away because I'm just going to yank the hair right out of their heads. So Las Vegas, Nevada, and the whole wide world, what are you going to do when the mega maniacs run wild on you? The Hulkster, Hulk Hogan, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, the Mega Maniacs, perhaps the next tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation. The Hulkster has never looked better live and in mint condition. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.